Thank you, Love Island, for another Bell End Safari. Best character, easy, Anton. The Scottish love rat. Huh? I just love girls. My favourite thing's to get my mum to shave my bottom after I've had a fresh job, eh? Trying to shag everyone in the villa. What a lovely lad. Do you mind if I get my cock out for you in the corridor? What about if I jump out the shower wanking? Girls. Girls! I've had sex with so many girls that the scientist you wonder could put a petri dish under my scrotum and do a longitudinal study of venereal disease on my bell end. Girls! Genuine brainy chick. Yuanda, the Irish scientist, funniest bit of the whole episode was when the tall bird, Anna from London, said, Yeah, I'm just like you. I'm a pharmacist. Same thing. It's not though, is it, Anna? Yuanda's been in Ireland. Today I had a breakthrough in the laboratory. I sequenced the DNA of a mouse and I'm going to clone that DNA, splice it with human genome and create a cure for ovarian cancer. What did you do today, Anna? Yeah, I did exactly the same thing. I sold four packs of hair gel and some Johnny's for my morning fag break. And ah, you got Lucy, the annoying surfer from Cornwall. She's trying to get a new word going. Oh my god, that's so Bev. Bev means drink. I tell you it'll be really Bev if I chucked a glass of Prosecco in your face. Oh my god, that's so Bev. There's a Bev in my fucking face. I tell you what, Lucy, I like new words. Bev end. There's this girl in there. She might turn out to be lovely. Her name's Amber. So far, she's a little bit cold. I've never been rejected my whole life. I don't like a man to be too nice. Do you ever pull the wings off insects and laugh while they squirm? I burnt a cat once. There's one guy in there that every woman on the planet must fancy. He's both a firefighter and a brain box. It was fun watching the Irish scientist girl change her opinion once she knew. Well, you see, I don't believe we've got anything in common. But the thing is, even though I'm a firefighter, I've got a degree in biomedical sciences. Is that so, is it? Well, I better get flicking my bean then. What any boy? There's an aeroplane technician called Callum who said, I wish I'd been born in 1920. You're an aeroplane technician. Do you know what would have happened if you were born in 1920? Right, I'm 19 years old. Up off into the sky then. Uh, 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 <coughs> World War II, what a bell end thing to say. The international air hostess, Amy, she keeps saying, I've never had a boyfriend. People, that doesn't mean she's been living as a nun. Quite the opposite. She's a player. When Amy says, I've never had a boyfriend, what she actually means is she's been rodded more times than a block drain. Now that's my type of girl. Flaps up for landing.